Alright, making a uh, video tutorial on how to uh, remove the system updates if your phone's not rooted. I just recently did a factory reset on my phone. And as of right now, I don't even have mobile data and uh, Wi-Fi turned on because of the annoying system notification. Uh, if you get a, you just get that and you keep hitting later and you're afraid that you're going to accept it, I'm going to show you guys uh, for unrooted uh, Android on how to remove that. Just show you that this phone is not rooted. I think it's on a new status. And if you saw my number, don't even try bothering calling me. Like, that's what I needed. I don't know why I hit status. But what you do is you go to a belt phone. Wait, what am I saying? I'm speaking out of my mind. But right there, it will show you that my phone is official. So I'm going to show you guys how to get developer options opened and then use this debloat tool to uh, remove the system update. So what we do is we go to uh, about phone and we go to software info so I was right I had to go there and we are going to look for build number keep tapping that until you see where it says you're now a developer. When you do that go ahead and back out scroll down to where you see developer options don't worry about this press OK, check USB debugging, hit OK and then what we're going to do is we are going to hook up our phones to our computers okay it's not asking me for that message so we'll we'll get that message later and you'll see what I'm talking about alright with our LG G4 is connected to the phone uh, in order to use this tool here um, we are going to you're gonna have to download the LG drivers I forgot to mention that in the beginning okay that was weird why did my phone take a picture on it? oh I forgot I left a voice activation on that thing. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, sorry about that. Uh, okay, um, so as you can see on the screen here, right here is my uh, G4. I'm going to show you guys um, what it's going to do, and at the same time, you'll see me run this tool. So once you get the drivers and all that crap installed, we're going to go ahead and uh, get our G-Force turned on. Make sure you're still in uh, the deb debugging uh, not debugging the developer options because if you're not in here you're not going to get that message I need a phone stand a well, hard drive will have to do for now and then a router that'll do for now alright so we're going to go ahead and start this toll we'll say yes And our phone should pop up that message. Oh, make sure you're in the MTP. Uh, I forgot. Okay, I didn't know my phone would do it automatically or not. But make sure you're. You can be able to see your phone if you're connected. I'll show you the difference. Uh, if you're able to access the phone's internal memory, make sure you can do that so the application uh, can see your phone. And right now, as you can see, it's asking me to allow USB debugging. I don't know if you can see that the screen on my computer is like very, very small. But allow USB debugging, just say OK. And then you're going to get this message. So all you got to do is OK.
should bring up all the applications on here. Uh, okay, so click here. And it's going to bring up all these applications. And crap, I forgot the name of it. So apparently I'm going to have to go look at a post to figure out what the name of it was. So I'll be right back. Alright, there right here is the post. You guys will get the link to it anyway. So it will give you the direct link uh, to the deep loader and the post. But this is what we're going to need to disable. Find LGDMSC uh, S client APK. And uh, I'm going to try to look for it. ABC, I think I passed it, right here, I'm going to check mark that, and then we're going to click on apply, and then when it's finished applying, then um, you're pretty much just uh, unrooted, your, oh, not unrooted. Uh, just take down the system update, so I'm going to go ahead and switch on over, and uh, I'm going to show you what it did. Okay, so with the application turned off, we're going to go ahead and go back into our phones. And we're going to go back to settings. Whoops, what did I just press? Oops, okay. Don't do what I just did. I was trying to hit the back button. And as you can see, system update no longer exists. So if you're one of those people who wants to keep their warranty and uh, also don't want to upgrade to Marshmallow or any higher, uh, this is a good way for a unrooted device to be modified with uh, with that software and speaking about modified it will still show that your operating system is official even though you use the deep loader so what the deep loader did it will override the phone and it will tell it just to disable that so no more accidental upgrading All right, for the most of my videos, you guys notice that the videos have been shaken, that I've been holding the phone with one hand. Um, due to, like, budget cost and all, um, I didn't really have the money just to pay for, like, a expensive tripod and all. Uh, the other day I went to Walmart, look at them, $50, but where can I find a cell phone adapter? Well, I've met a new friend uh, on XDA, and he has told me to where to get... A tripod and a cell phone adapter at a really cheap price which I really did not notice until he mentioned it um, he told me that I can get a tripod at a really cheap price and uh, a cell phone adapter so I went ahead and look at the selfie sticks at the first time when I saw a selfie stick my first thought was oh god so I went back to Walmart and check it out and uh, I purchased a selfie stick for five dollars which had the phone adapter and I purchased a tripod which is fifteen dollars so I want to give out a shout out to my friend who helped me uh, phone pie so I really do appreciate it and now my video experience is going to be a whole lot better thanks man